Yo, how how good are you at the game? Not good enough. All right, that's fine. I didn't want to spectate that guy. He's trash. We're going to go find somebody good to spectate. Watch this. Welcome to the spectate session that you guys keep on wanting to see. It just doesn't stop. Falling with Ty Driz to start us out. He's just getting his loadout. Fantastic, phenomenal timing. Stone, get Cloaksy again, bro. How amazing would that be? We got to spectate him once back in Caldera. It was amazing. So watch how Cloak plays this when he has the lead. He doesn't sit inside. He tries to find him out. Gets some damage on him. That guy does have temper. Walks onto the Semtex. Got a big damage lead, but ah! one bullet he challenged that with. I would not have done that. All right, what are we running here? 762, the 30 rounder. Not glitching it for the 40 rounder, which technically they fixed anyways. A lot of people have been liking this gun for long range. No, he has the red dot on it though. He's not using the Eagle. He's not using a long range optic. Spots one, he's going for the push. Let's see this thing in action. I have seen some people using this as a uh, sniper support as well. I don't know how well that would work with the 30 rounder, but it does have decent damage per Mac. If you're in solos, I think it's even better. Oh, he just hooked that guy, but I think the other guy was standing there trying to decide on loot or something. I don't know what he was, he was like looking at the ground. Here we go. Here's another. Great use of the audio there. Immediately switched over to the AMR. Close range build. It's got that short barrel. Not much extra movement speed off of it, but better than nothing, especially when you got the 50 rounder on it. This thing's time to kill. And the range that it works out to, we've seen a lot of this even in the last spectate we did. It's just a solid one. So this, yeah, is a, this is in. one of the meta builds right now for sure. Zone. This gun with the uh, other one. This guy's going for very long, long range shots. It's probably like Requesting 60, 70 meters mission. there. Target marked. Maybe more. I think that's 120 to the building. Drop some mortar on it. What's he think he's going to go? What's going to accomplish here? He's going to go sit inside the building. What do you think he's going to run out? What are we doing? What's this mortar accomplishing? Let's think before we streak, guys. It's the same thing with everybody always spamming. You got a PA. Shoot the PA. Stone, use your kill streak. Oh. Okay. Gas is inbound. Oh. Well done. Good height control. Played it patient when that guy went outside. He used his head glitch, his height advantage. He wins that. It's hard to take somebody off the roof. Think before we streak. That's the new motto. Good life advice. Here we go. Camping in the tower. Not even not even worried, man. Another mosquito. He's racking up. I like this guy because he's playing aggressive, you know? He's not sitting around. He's not waiting. Look at this. Drops the smoke. Dives out the window towards the sniper. But this is what you want to do against the sniper. Close the distance. Early damage lead now. Push this. Mosquito's kind of a waste with how slow it is, right? If he just gets up on the top, this guy could already be dead right now. Potentially. Oh, what a slide and a pre-fire. Holy shit, man. Is this guy hacking? Welcome to another episode of Hack the Crack! He went around that corner already shooting exactly where the guy was. Stone. That's clearly hacking, right? Like, everybody hacks in this game. Totally, right? Well, let's think about it a little bit. He knew where the guy was inside of the building somewhere. He heard the footsteps on the right. He's breaching a building, full sprint sliding in. So, pre-firing, especially with a big mag, is not unheard of. He also got on target and then went off target, was surprised that he was off target and went back on target. So that looked actually pretty cracked to me. Also, everything else we've seen so far is nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe got a little lucky, but if the guy wasn't in the corner, he still pushes around the next spot. Gets a kill. Shielder! Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, was his body glitched through the building too? I didn't see that. That could have been. Flip through. 
the the real risk when you're fighting a shielder is not the shielder. It's getting third partied by somebody else. Because what it does is it extends the fight duration. A fight that should have been over, either you dead or the other guy dead, 20 seconds ago, goes on way too long, giving other people the opportunity to come close on you when you're standing in the open, doing something stupid. And I know because I've died so many times standing in the open, doing something stupid. Great read on that. I was talking a little bit. We couldn't quite hear it. Obviously, we knew he was down there earlier from sprinting down. Check the corner, but he did find that guy very well as well. Let's follow in. Okay, good spot there. Looking in the area, but didn't know exactly where the guy was. He started running out in the open. I saw it at the same time he did. There's that shield. They're back. Oh, cooked him in the legs. I'm loving this gameplay right now. He's aggressive. This guy's this guy is on path to get a 20 bomb. He's on he is on track for a 20 right now. He's got enough kills in the early game. If he plays like this at the end game and can clean up, that's gonna be the question though. Can he keep it together for it? It's a parachuter coming back in as he was about to go for the balloon. Out to the other. I'm I gotta try this gun too. Everybody's always told me to try this MZ MTZ762. I tried it once. Oh, he should have got that. Not near? Not near, baby. I tried it once when the 40 round bug was a thing, and then I, I played like one game and had to get off, so I didn't really get the chance to play it the whole day and get anything seriously with it. But uh, even with the 30, especially for solos, this is doing insane. I don't typically play long range though. I Usually I use a sniper instead. This is usually the guy that counters me as he starts tapping me up, closes distance, then I have to use my close range option or of course die. Gets a UAV. I love this, man. He's not just sitting around in a building the whole time. Okay, I'm, I'm 10 gifteds to you guys if he wins. I'm, I think he's winning. I'm putting my money on it. You guys get 10 gifteds if he wins. If he loses, I'll drop another code for the uh, giveaway we got going on. Whoa! What the hell? He spotted that guy pretty well. I guess he got the UAV up. I'm, I'm over here eating. I don't even know what's going on. He hears the running. It's got to be a ghoster. He hears the calm as well. The guy's mic. Goes to roof. I like this. Takes height. Try to control the situation. Got his ammo ready. This is a really hard one to push. I don't even think I like smoking down into this. Oh! Came up top. This is the guy. You hear the mic. Oh, no! Oh, no! All right, well, bonus entries for the giveaway for y'all. <sighs> he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. We might see him again later, though. We'll see. Nah, he's sus. He had a UAV up, though. You hear the footsteps on these guys. Maybe it's a little sus, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. Plus, look at all the times he's losing, even in that fight. He thought that the guy jumped down on the backside, but he didn't. He went prone on the woods plank, still up on the top floor, catching him in full sprint. If he had walls or something, he would have known the guy was there and not died to the dude jumping off. This is a hard, this is a lot of the nuance with somebody cheating. You see one clip of them, you know, catching somebody off guard with a pre-fire sliding through the door and it's like, oh, that's a little sus, but look at it in the context of the whole picture. Okay, dark, keeps it together, man. Maybe we can't underestimate him based off that, uh... <laughs> you know what I noticed, though? A lot of these guys do. Once they finish a fight, they just start sliding everywhere for no reason. I feel like this is a... I don't know if this is a panic thing. I don't know if it's a fidget thing. Sometimes, maybe I do it too, and I don't even realize it. But I, I feel like I see it in other people's gameplay more. Like, he got that kill, and then he's just sliding everywhere. Sliding into a wall. Hey, look, he's got the AMR with the 40 cell glitched, uh... No, wait. Yeah, I think it is. I think this is the 40 round glitched gun. Marking MTZ, enemy. the same gun with the glitch on it. There you go. Get your replayed up. You heard the guy use the zip. He zipped out. He might have re-landed, but you didn't hear the parachute. 
nor the uh, announcer. It was actually a bug in the first season of the game that if somebody redeployed and they were landing on you, there was no announcer calling it in. That happened to me a number of times. I was like, where's the call in? Where's the audio? Because apparently audio was broken on parachutes as well. So you get landed on with no indicator, and it's just like, all right, sick, great game. One of the few audio improvements they seem to have actually fixed and made it. You see him climbing the ladder, kill him! Yeah, you can't be sitting on that ladder with a purple gun, bro. You gotta get a different skin than that. That would've worked if you didn't have a glowing mass purple gun there. MCW it is. Look at the 5.56 ammo. No, that's the bug. So the bug on the MTZ 7.62 is that they use a 40, right? Am I crazy? Or is, that doesn't look like the MCW to me. It's a Sidewinder. I'm fairly certain he's using the bugged aftermarket part. Either way, he can't. I, I, was, I was surprised he didn't die sooner on. Wait, did he just give up? He got saved, but he gave up before. Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't quit early, man. The guy that killed him got killed by somebody else. So he could have got his self res off. Why do you hate the MCW so much? I love the gun, but because it's so bad, I mean, it is what it is. It's not, it's not up to me, man. I wish it was good. Most of these assault rifles Where are completely thing? useless compared to the LMGs and battle rifles. There's just too much damage fall off. The Ram is like the main one that everybody's using because it actually has good enough damage range to carry out with yep, the 60 rounder. In. Relocating the safe zone. So you get a little benefit. Oh my gosh, this guy got absolutely cooked. Okay. <gasps> Wait. Was this the guy, Ty Driz? This was the first guy we spectated in the game, wasn't it? Or was this the guy that I said I'd give 10 gifted for? Wait. He's back, bro. He won his goo. He got his loadout. He's cracked. He's on a 17 killer. He's going to drop to 20. Let's go! Ty! He's back, boys! AMR in hand. This dude's got six spectators, but he doesn't even know he's got another 3,000 watching live. The arena's packed. Let's see it, Ty! Cook him up! Back with the 30 round MTZ. Got one locked out on the bridge. Six players left. He's got the kills. This is what I was saying earlier. Is he going to have the pressure at the end game? to get the kills. These guys are farther away than 50 meters. The damage fall off is gonna be a lot, especially with only having the red Always dot here in a 30 left. round mag. Shots down left, one dies out, top five. Gets the high ground, he's getting a little nervous though. He wants that 20. Easy follow up with the AMR. You've got the range with that gun, top yeah, four. He needs two in. of them. New safe zone located. Wrap the right hill, close the distance. He's gotta be careful of the bushes. Zone's gonna close them out. If he gets those players coming off the top hill, he does have a bit of a deflate and time slow side zone to utilize. It goes for the muni box. Could cost him going for loot top four, especially is very risky. You start process of eliminating. Where are the remaining players? They gotta be somewhere here. He's cleared out his side relatively well. Spots one up top, goes for the rain shots. Not gonna prone it either, a little damage on him, at least gonna drop a plate, but checks back for his flank. Make sure he's not getting pushed. This is a great battle royale strategy. Spots one up on the top. Damage on him too. Just can't get those fulls, unfortunately. Not even getting the cracks. As a matter of fact, spots the right pushes. Be easy kill, two of them. Needs that kill. He's got it. Double Semtex in that, maybe? Or is he gonna, oh wait, he got the kill credit. One more there. Now, the other two can fight each other. He knows exactly where they are. One's on the outside there. This is very risky. He can get third partied on the right. Gets the crack. Left. Doesn't even drop a smoke out. Gets the kill. Smoke does go down. Now he's got to get that replay. Is no! No, 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 no! He's out of smokes! He should have fought as soon as he started getting pressured. He needed to turn around and get into the fight. The 20 kill, but doesn't bring home the win. See, even if you get the 20, though, even if you're a good player, it's not so easy, guys. It's not so easy. He played well, though. Definitely played well. I like the pressure he was putting out of that end game. That's what I noticed about him right from the beginning. He was a pressure player.